There are two default ways your customers may interact with your help desk, using email messages and a web widget. However, you can set up multiple support channels using Help Desk API or a connector for the Microsoft Power Automate. For example, you can create tickets from Facebook or Twitter mentions. We'll walk through various Power Automate scenarios in a separate video. In this one, we will focus on the default ticket channels. First, let's walk through setting up the email support channel. Navigate to the Settings page and click on the Email button. The default address you see is the internal help desk email that is used to process email messages to tickets. If you wish to use your corporate mailbox address, please configure email forwarding from it to the internal address. If you are using Outlook for Office 365, at the top of the page, select Settings and then View All Outlook Settings, select Mail, and then Forwarding. To turn on Forwarding, select Start Forwarding. Enter the forwarding email address and select Save. You will find a link to the instructions on how to set up email forwarding for some of the most popular platforms here. Also, you need to enter your mailbox address as a reply to address and specify the display name. By default, Help Desk sends email notifications from its own mailbox. However, you can grant your Help Desk the SMTP access to send emails from your support mailbox directly. Provide the server address, port, email, and password, and click Test to make sure your SMTP settings are working. Now your customers will receive a message from your support mailbox each time they submit a ticket and each time an agent replies. They can just reply to the message to create a new comment The same goes for your agents. You can also set up a web widget for those of your customers that don't want to necessarily use email. For internal use, you may want to set up a web widget on one or multiple SharePoint sites, and the outside customers may take advantage of the widget built into your public website. Let's start with the SharePoint widget. Create a new widget configuration. Enter a custom tile to distinct the widgets on your list when you have several. Below, you can see a list of ticket views. Those are used to group your customers' tickets. By default, the active and solved tickets are grouped separately, but you can add a custom view that will select the tickets following a different logic. Please check out the Help Desk documentation to learn more about setting custom widget views. For each view, you can select the ticket fields to be displayed. When the view is opened in the widget, the customer will see the ticket properties that you select on this step. Finally, choose for SharePoint as the widget type and click Save. A new widget configuration is added. The last step here is to copy the configuration ID. Navigate to the SharePoint site that will host the widget. One required step here is adding a Help Desk add-in from the SharePoint store. We need this to enable automatic sign-in of your SharePoint users. This way, the users will recognize automatically when they open a widget. Click on the Add an App and navigate to the SharePoint store. Find the Help Desk add-in with the search and add it to your site. Now let's navigate to the SharePoint page to place the widget or create a new one. Switch to Edit Mode and add a new web part. 
When the help desk was installed, a web widget part was added automatically to your SharePoint tenant. Now we need to locate it and add it to the page. Click on the Edit Web Part button and enter the widget configuration ID that you've copied on from the widget settings page. Save and publish the page. Now your support customers have an interaction point to create tickets and communicate with an agent. Click on Add New Ticket and fill out a form to start a new one. When a ticket is resolved, it's moved to the Solved view for future reference. The procedure to place a widget on an external website differs slightly. When creating a new widget, select for External Site Type, Widget Language, and choose if your customers will have an option to register a Help Desk account to see the created tickets. When you're done, just copy the HTML snippet and place it on your website. The widget will look the same as the SharePoint type, but will have a login page for your customer's authentication. Finally, you may insert a link to a page with the widget in the widget settings. When your customer receives an email notification from the help desk, the ticket ID will contain a link and be highlighted. This link will open the ticket form on the widget page.